Welcome again to another beautiful day here in the Ozarks in Spokane, Missouri. And today I'm featuring our 2004 Dodge Ram 2500. This is a crew cab short bed 4x4 powered by the 5.9 liter uh, Cummins turbo diesel. This video is going to give you a better introduction, better than just seeing still photos. Uh, for, for those of you not familiar with this, gives us a chance to put our hands on, on the trucks for you. And, uh, get a better idea of the truck get to see the sights and sounds of it and we will end up taking it for a trip down the highway so it's a Dodge Ram heavy duty 2500 three quarter ton SLT 4x4 factory tow package no gooseneck ball no fifth wheel a set of BFG's all the way around on it decent tread on there um, I would say just under half Something, something to that effect there. Really nice truck, especially these 04s are kind of notorious for some rust. Uh, this one doesn't have it, doesn't, you know, all the, the rockers and cab corners and fender wells are all good. No major scratches, no major damage or anything like that to point out to you. In front of that bedside nice and straight. Got a little, little moth or something on there. There we go. Try to point out anything. Little ding deal right there. Doesn't have rock chips all over it. These are normally a choice for the fender wheels having rust, which this one doesn't have. Cab corners and rockers and all that are nice and straight on it. Definitely not a beat up truck by no means. But without further ado, let's just go ahead and start this thing up and show you some functions and we'll take it for a spin down the highway. Starts up nice and easy. We're going to be test driving this truck with 179,150 miles. And the only light on the dash you saw there was uh, no seatbelt light. But of course I'm not driving it yet. I will apply my seatbelt before I take off. on clean motor. Sounds nice. Do you have the cold air intake? These five nine star are getting hard to find. Especially for the one that'll fire up nice and easy. These kind of miles on it. Folks, without further ado, we'll go ahead and hop inside it. Got your storage underneath. Of course, you see that in the pictures. It does on both sides. Power seat. Passenger windows. Driver's windows. You can see both of them there. I know the little switch here is coming a little loose right there. That's just such a Dodge thing. They're so notorious for that. But all the switches are good here. Everything's working there like it needs to be. Uh, power uh, heated mirrors. Do have your uh, headlight switch. Turn that AC down just a little bit. Uh, cruise control. Um, all that kind of good stuff. The only other thing I really notice on this truck um, is the uh, 
some of the gauges seem to be sticking, which if you guys get on the internet, or for those of you that already know your Dodges, it's really notorious about it. Uh, the fuel gauge and the voltmeter work just fine. Um, the rest of these gauges, like the, the RPM and the Speedo, and uh, these other two over here seem to be sticking every now and then, and I think it's just uh, it's just a typical Dodge thing. Um, I've been reading up on it. We to fully correct that, we'd either need to uh, get a new gauge cluster from Dodge, or you can actually get on the internet and send them send it off to somebody for a hundred bucks or something like that. I think they they fix the gauges in there for you, uh, get them working like they should. Uh, I mean, and let me clarify: they do all the gauges do work, just some of them stick a little bit. So. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to show you the radio works great, just like it's supposed to. Turn that off. Oop, or turn it off now. Uh, ice cold AC. Turn that down. Take this still down. Uh, all the latches work here. That latch isn't broke. That's a lot of times you'll find that on these. Uh, original owner's man manual there in the glove box. Got your cup holder and your ashtray there. All right. Without further ado, we will go ahead and uh, reset all this stuff. Take it for a quick spin down the highway. Guys, all of our stuff is always for sale here at uh, MidwayPowerSports.com. There's your horn. Wipers. Do you have one aftermarket gauge? Your pyrometer there. To be honest with you, it's me. Um, I wouldn't uh, uh, worry about the factory gauges. I might put a couple more aftermarket gauges up here on the pillar or somewhere. I'd be good with it. Or, of course, uh, there is no aftermarket program or anything, but if you add an aftermarket programmer, that tells you everything you need to know there with these trucks especially. Uh, it is four-wheel drive, shifter in the floor, which is nice. Everything works there just like it should. Real nice truck. Keep in mind, no gooseneck ball, no fifth-wheel ball. It's not been a hard work truck, that's for sure. Truck sure does get up and go good, as you can see. It's nice and quiet in here. There's no wind noise. Um, steering wheel, you can see I can let go of it here. There's no shimmies, no shakes. Really travels nice and smooth down the highway. the brakes here nice firm brake pedal it's not spongy doesn't pulsate nice smooth brakes here all right guys appreciate you watching our video we try not to make these too long but this has been midway power sports with our 2004 dodge ram 2500 with the 5.9 cummins turbo diesel camera to focus here traveling uh, 70 miles an hour going uphill right now I know we're going uphill so it's dropping a little bit but uh, truck actually gets really good fuel mileage I know I drove it home back and forth the other day and I was averaging 24.6 something like that Guys, I appreciate you watching our video. Give us a call. Area code 417-443-2300. We'd be more than happy to talk to you about this truck and all the other ones we have for sale. Thank you so much and have a great day.